Uh, hey guys, what's going on? So I've been wanting to make this video for a little while now, um, and this is a video on the Blade Dancer deck in Rush Royale. Uh, I've been playing this deck for a very long time now, um, basically from before Dungeons was changed. Uh, I was playing this deck. I was playing uh, Zealot, so my max levels. I have like my max level Zealot. I've been playing this game, as you can probably see, for a little while now. Uh, so I've been playing Blade Dancer, and I've been trying to max this max this guy out for or this girl. <laughs> um, I've been trying to max uh, this girl out for a while now. Um, I've been the books, uh, the pages uh, through. Uh, the premium pass made it a lot easier. Um, the $10 a month that you're spending on it isn't actually that much. Um, if that's not a lot to you, if you want to spend money on anything in the game, I would highly recommend uh, spending it on the premium pass. Uh, if for only if if for o the only reason being uh, are the pages so that you can get the books, um, you get three pages uh, per season. Uh, you get two there. And then you get one somewhere like pretty high up right there. Um, you get three pages if you get the season pass. And if you don't get the season pass, you only get one. Uh, so you need six to get a book uh, to upgrade any unit from anything to anything. Uh, so I would hi um, so every two months, if you spend the ten dollars or twelve dollars, whatever it is, um, every two months you'll get. Um, and you'll be able to upgrade any unit from anywhere and when it goes it, it gets kind of crazy um, I don't know if you know the requirements for this um, but it'll it gets to a point where it's nine crystals uh, and three units of the the of the unit um, and it gets insane um, so you'll either get if you decide to be free to play the whole time uh, you'll be able to upgrade two times because uh, you'll only get the one page and you need six uh, so you'll get 12 for the year um, whereas if you uh, buy the the pass um, every two months you can upgrade a unit which is pretty good uh, once it starts to get into like crazy requirements like this but anyway I've been playing Blade Dancer for a while now and I wanted to showcase a couple of just tips and tricks that I found um, this is my current setup and I was starting to question whether or not uh, this would even apply to people who didn't have gadget, who don't have a level 14 blade dancer, who don't have like, you know, like the knight statue and the bombardier. Um, but I feel like this deck at its most effective basically looks like this. Um, if you are running with a, a co-op player in co-op um, who's running uh, shaman, then you should probably be running the chemist version. Um, but even then, I still think Bombardier is much safer uh, because uh, you don't want to get bedlamed. And in PvP, it's probably better for chemi with chemist. Um, and then there's there's an argument to be made that uh, that Dryad is pretty good. Um, you can you can do like the super crazy way um, where you take out Portal Keeper. Um, I'll try to do a game like that as well. Um, but I'm gonna go just jump into a game um, and show you how I play this deck. Uh, so I'm just gonna jump in with a casual player, um, and this is uh, my solo. My you know like I assume that I'm probably gonna have to do everything, um, and this is what I basically use when I was playing casual, because um, you can't you obviously can't uh, control what the other person's gonna play. So I'm just gonna jump into this game uh, and then talk about this as I go. Uh, so you want to always try to use, utilize your squares. Uh, that's unfortunate. Um, but it's probably best that you get the curse now. Hopefully, he's running an Inquisitor deck. Um, there we go. He, he's running an Inquisitor deck. Um, so I'm probably not going to... Oh, he's <laughs> disconnect. Okay. Is that, is that, what, is that what this is going to be? I'm going to have to actually solo this by myself? All right. Um, you want to utilize as many squares as you can. So obviously here I can only utilize two squares, um, which is going to be this one uh, and this one. Um, if I make the two T's, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and then in this extra square, I'm going to put the Bombardier. 
Um, and then that's just where that's going to sit. Mm. Playing this solo, actually, I think it's, it's actually good uh, that this guy isn't here because now I can really showcase like how you have to play this deck. Um, because I think there are tips and tricks uh, to this deck that will apply to whatever version that you're using. Um, some subtle thing that I like doing is I tend to eat the things over here um, because then I'll have a bigger reaction time uh, if it shoots over there. Um, usually if it shoots to like here, uh, I can't... What I'm, what I'm trying to do is get um, a level 2 to manually get a level 2 uh, scrapper. Uh, so let's see if we can... Those are fine. Um, I'm going to eat that. You basically only need uh, the one uh, bombardier here. There we go. Um, and then that's how you can make uh, your own level two scrapper, and a level two scrapper will keep will keep you for a lot of the game, as you'll probably see. Um, so right now, um, I can merge out these two, um, so that I can move that. Um, I'm actually going to eat these. Uh, I'm going to merge out these two, so that I can eat that. Basically, right now, I'm just trying to find that obviously last um, Blade Dancer, and then we're pretty much set. Um, I'm going to eat this Bombardier. Um, there's a pro a pro move where you technically only need the bombardier for the bedlam um, and you need it at least at, at a three um, i've tried using i've tried using a level two bombardier um, but it doesn't shoot fast enough to stun uh, the bedlam and so technically you don't even need the the bombardier right now um, i just figured that since i just had it i'm just going to use it um, but there is a, a technically a strategy where if you don't use it, um, you can uh, your scrappers will hit more important things like your blade dancers, obviously, um, because you being as that you can only um, seeing as how you can only upgrade all of your scrapper or all of your blade dancers with scrapper hits. Um, every five, you have to summon in five times. Um, in order to get one upgrade or maybe two upgrades. So you're, you you want to utilize all of your mana. I'm not even worried about Warlock. Um, you're also going to want to keep track of your numbers. Uh, so right now, uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to uh, give me a scrapper hit. Um, and the reason why I say that is because if you merge uh, two scrappers um, with a scrapper hit, if that turns into a two, that turns into a three, um, that would screw you over as well. So now, I, now I'm safe to do this, um, and I'm safe to do that. And then this is going to be another hit as well. Um, I can upgrade now. Uh, you can actually upgrade mid-round um, when it's changing, so that if they do give you the uh, where you can't upgrade your stuff, you can still upgrade your stuff. That's another uh, tip that I can give you. There we go. Uh, so now I don't have to worry about anything. Now this is just scrappering. Uh, this is obviously not ideal, because I'm literally having to do the, all of this by myself. Um, and now I have two twos, uh, which means that if, obviously if you get too many twos, um, you're going to need a three, uh, which is, which you have to do in the exact same way, you just have to manually do it by sacrificing a, a blade dancer. 
uh, technically, I could wait till the bombardier that I left uh, becomes a level two. Oh, see, this is this is real bad. This is this is not good times. Um, the 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 good thing about running the uh, the two T's as opposed to the the three two three um, is that you are afforded more room, um, and you you can um, you'll have more error. You you have a mar better margin of error uh, to have more twos, uh, but it's still as you can see pretty bad um, because I have to keep track of these three. Um, because if those get hit, I'm probably going to have to make a three. This tribunal is also not fun. So now I'm kind of stuck. Um, I'm probably going to have to eat this bombardier. Uh, actually, I'm definitely going to have to eat this bombardier. Uh, because Tribunal is about to hit me, uh, you want the one extra space. Um, so that if it does hit me, which it did, um, it only takes half. Uh, tribunal rounds up, if you didn't know. Um, so if you have... Uh, so if so if you have six, it'll hit three things. But if you have seven, it'll hit four things. Um, and so you always want to be on an even number. Um, and as long as you have an odd number of squares, uh, then you're on and you're obviously on an even number. Um, I'm hoping obviously here for a bombardier uh, for a portal keeper so I can mo move this thing. Oh, here we go. That really worked out. At least they're kind of being nice to me. Here we go. Uh, that's at three. That's now at four, uh, which means the next one is going to give me a hit. Um, I'm already at a uh, max square, uh, max tiles. Um, I have everything maxed out. I'm not too worried about virus, so um, I have to. I obviously, um, this one is going to give me a hit. Um, but again, I want to know where my twos are, and apparently this is my only two. <coughs> this is... <coughs> Sir! Whoa. Ugh, sorry about that. This is what I get for doing this live. Um... This is my only two option right now. Um, and I still don't get a hit. Uh, so I just ate uh, the two individually as opposed to merging them. Uh, you basically never want to merge them unless you're playing the Dryad version. Uh, because then you, you, know, you have the option of that becoming a two. Um, but if that became a two scrapper, then you'd just have another space that you can't use. Um, and you obviously don't want that. Uh, so if you're running the, the non-dryad version, uh, always eat individually. Uh, so yeah, that's still my only option here, uh, which is not great. Um, I had no real reason for doing that. Uh, like I said, uh, the really, really the only thing that you need the the bombardier for is the uh, the bedlam. Uh, that virus will always hit you, which is uh, it used to not. Uh, used to be able to kill the virus immediately, um, but I guess they decided to change that after they changed the um, the king pudding. Uh, the king pudding used to um, only hit you, or it used to like not hit you at all. Um, and now it automatically hits you. And then virus used to not hit you. And then now it automatically hits you, no matter what, no matter how fast you kill it, no matter if you have a uh, bombardier or anything. Um, I could leave this too, but I'm probably going to die if I do. Because right now, uh, this isn't great. And I'm dead. 
Yeah. Uh, they used to have this. I'm gonna try playing another game. Um, I'm just gonna do a, a, just a regular casual. You, I used to be able to almost solo um, 10, and they made it much harder uh, recently. To where if you're if you have no opponent, it's incredibly difficult, um, or it's almost it's borderline impossible to actually solo it by yourself without like level 20 gadget you know, like, max level, um, max level, uh, Blight Dancer. It's, it's really, really difficult. Uh, this is something that I also created. Um, I'm utilizing this, um, this tile here, because I know that I, it's just gonna, I, I, actually, you know what, I can probably send this to him. He's probably gonna be fine with that. Depending on what your opponent is playing, see, I, I just needed this um this portal keeper here. Uh, so I have one. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna do the uh, the same T setup um, because I have a square here and a square here. Um, this might take me a while, but I do have a, a two second portal keeper, so this won't be too bad. Uh, there we go. Uh, actually, I have all four. This is actually a perfect setup here because I can now get rid of all of this side uh, so that I only have to worry about this side, which, like I said, um, because the um, the scrappers go from right to left, um, it's much easier uh, as a reaction time to hit the other side. Like that. Um, That's fine. That's not great. Uh, actually, you know what? That's fine. There we go. Um, so now I actually have everything right now. Um, he's already giving me the thumbs up. And most people like to do that where they don't... Um, if you play with... Uh, with people, uh, once you get your setup, they'll automatically want to do what exactly what he's doing. Um, but my thing is, you don't really need it until Tribunal. I'll play another game because I have a secondary account that I use, um, and I'll show you the most ideal way for a Shaman player to do stuff. Um, right now, you're getting, obviously, the stereotypical person uh, that you'll eventually come up against um, and how they will normally support you if they do have shaman um, see this is why I don't really like this um, because now I can't do anything I probably shouldn't have, I definitely shouldn't have summoned in right there um, that was a misclick on my own part um, because now I have to actually wait for him to shaman me uh, so that this will either become a 2, or these will become a, a 3, so that I can, you know, merge 2 to make it 3, and then eat 3, and then have space. Ugh. I can't really uh, do anything right here. I mean, I guess I could merge this out, but that seems terrible. <laughs> Don't do that. Just, just wait for this to be a 2. So right now I'm just going to use all my mana um, so that I don't get... Yeah. They tend to like doing the, um, you can't upgrade your units in like the first couple of rounds and then that completely screws you over for Tribunal. Um, so if you can and if you have the money, uh, try to use that in the mid, like in between rounds uh, when it's trying to decide what to do with you. <laughs> um, because you don't want to, you, you don't want to get caught in that. Obviously, a lot of this game is RNG. Um, so right now, I'm really hoping that he either hits um, either of these to make it a two, or make the uh, the two scrapper a three, or 
best case scenario is he hits the level one so that I can eat it. Uh, that works. You can eat the two. Oh, you know what? I might. I might leave it like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm pretty sure if I basically do nothing for the rest of this game, I'll basically win. Because he should be shamaning enough. Um, and I already have my level 3 bombardier. Basically, this entire setup right now as is is an automatic win there's nothing really here for me to do um i can make it easier for him by eating the three if this becomes a two um then i can eat the two eat the three and i can make it easier for him because you obviously want um the least amount of spaces um or the the least amount of units that you can um you want the one bombardier uh you want the two knight statues and then you want all of the blade dancers um, so right now, as is, um, I'm going to cut this video, um, and I'll show you what happens at the end. Okay, uh, so as you can see, this board is v drastically different. Um, I just wanted to pop back in here because we're right about to get to Bedlam. Um, what ended up happening was, uh, we, I did get tribunaled. Um, and it made it a one and a two, uh, but then it also uh, deleted some of my other squares, and then I was able to summon in, um, and I was able to uh, to uh, merge everything out, um, essentially, and delete the two. Uh, so right now, uh, we're gonna get bed. Um, this is why uh, the the level ten is determined by whether or not the person has bombardier. A lot of people try to run chemist. Um, and you can, if the other person is shamaning you, um, and if it's, if, if the other person is shamaning you and you're using scrapper and if, if and it's a perfect, um, kind of setup, you can use, uh, chemist if your, your guy is high enough. Um, but I find that even with all of that, bombardier is just safer. <laughs> um, just, it's very simply put, bombardier is just safer. Um, because as you can see, um, we're, we're also going to get bedlamed again, and that is pretty much worst case scenario uh, if you are going to use chemist. Uh, you can survive the first one, but if you're not, if your units aren't high enough um, and everything, uh, you might die to the second one um, if they happen to, if there happens to be a bedlam in the second one. Um, the only problem with this build um, I find is that, and playing it in co-op, um, even when you're playing it with a shaman player, um, is that the uh, the banner lord is is a problem sometimes. Uh, it's usually like wave 39, uh, the banner lord, or sometimes this this double king pudding right now, that now that's happening um, can be a problem if they're not running slow. Uh, so this dude is trying to run like a hybrid support. Um, zealot shaman deck thing and he's not really doing anything um so he's very i'm very lucky that he is actively using his trainer um because that is saving us uh it's probably going to save us right here it saved us a couple rounds ago um so he is at the very least actively doing that but why he's not upgrading any of his units with these dryads is beyond me he should technically, if he's just going to sit there with, like, mana, he should at the very least be upgrading. I guess he can't really upgrade anything. That's sad. Because he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a one. Or, or a two to make it a three. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, so I'm going to use this again. Um, I always try to use mine first. Um, because they tend to wait last second. Just in general, most co-op people like to wait at the like, but to the last second. And obviously, uh, if you're using gadget, um, it slows them down, but it doesn't stop them. Um, so you want to use yours first. All of my units are pretty high. Um, I'm pretty sure we will uh, survive the the boss round if we can survive this round. <laughs> 
Um, my All of my units are pretty high up there, so my morale is pretty high. Uh, so I'm going to get this gadget back. I'm going to automatically use it right now. Because uh, it does marginal amounts of damage, um, but it just lets the other player know, please use your trainer. <laughs> because I got nothing. Um, this is another reason why the Bombardier is so good. It stuns everything. Um, and just these like really short stuns come into play about right here as well as with the um with bosses obviously yeah um so this level five uh bombardier is gonna completely stun this guy right there um and then that's pretty much good game uh, the thing about the this deck and playing in co-op, you have to know when to stop, which is something that I see a lot of people um, not understanding. Like they would see these three open spaces and being like, and be like, oh, I need to summon in because I need to get a scrapper or I need to add another bombardier, and you don't. You just need this literal setup. Technically, I don't even need one of these scrappers. Technically, I don't need both of those scrappers. Um, you just need. Uh, the bomb, the uh, the bombardier, the knight statues, and the blade dancers. That's it. If you can uh, minimize everything, you want to minimize everything. Um, so I'm going to do all that later. Obviously. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, my co-op, my uh, my own co-op setup. Um, this is like the I want to say the most ideal co-op setup that you can have. Um, especially with the uh, the talents, um, with the, the demonologist talents uh, that are coming, they are insane. Um, Shaman, obviously, I think Witch is probably better than Demonologist. Um, because essentially, I'm only really, I would only be really using the Demonologist um, to help the other player. Uh, so that they can scrapper more. Um, it wouldn't be necessarily for me, uh, because I, I really like... Uh, the maximum gain on Reaper. And Reaper is somebody that you have the ability to farm early on. Uh, so I would highly recommend getting Reaper to at least uh, the maximum gain talent. Um, and if you can, obviously the Grim Harvest talent, uh, because the, the, the radius kill is insane. And then that compiled on with the maximum gain is just insane um, in both co-op and uh, in co-op to give you money um, as a support player um, or in... Uh, PvP uh, just because it kills that amount more than just singular targets. Uh, I almost have Vengeful Ghost, obviously. Um, Clock is probably one of the most important, very, like, it doesn't even seem like it would be, uh, support kind of cards. Um, so I would definitely run Clock if you have it and upgrade Clock uh, because at the very least, it's really, really good in co-op. Um, because you're a lot of the time in co-op, you're you're really just sitting there on units. Um, there's an argument to be made to to use uh, cauldron, but I think that with the reaper uh, killing things uh, and at the same time giving you money, um, you don't need extra money. Uh, Harley Quinn and Shaman, or Harley Quinn and Witch, or Harley Quinn Witch and Shaman. Uh, those are obviously the staples. Um, but if you can't run this deck. Um, I'm going to show you uh, what I'm running with in, in the other deck. Um, I was running a lot of slow uh, for a while, um, but then with my on my other account, I actually lucked out and got a lot of really good things. Uh, so my other account is running Trainer. Um, it's essentially this entire setup, but Mime instead of Clock, uh, just so that I can get more shamans out of it. Um, and I don't I don't have Clock. Um, but I do have Shaman, uh, which is pretty much the one thing that you really need as a support player. Um, but if you don't have Shaman um, using any kind of slow, uh, I really like Cold Mage because of all of the talents that you could potentially uh, upgrade. Uh, you're going to want to use Fierce Cold if you are running um, Cold Mage. Uh, you're going to run uh, Heat Leak. Uh, it, actually, it, it, it doesn't matter either way. I don't think either of these work. I think Flash of Frost might work, but even if it does, it's negligible. It doesn't necessarily matter. 
Um, I see people running Blizzard, um, but I think Cracking Ice is a little bit better um, because the Fierce Gold were already slow, like a lot, um, and it, it's already a good enough slow that you don't need more slow on top of your slow. Um, and I think that Cracking Ice, the 30% damage, uh, or uh, when they're 30% below um, and you take 20% more um, is insane. Um, and then if you have Deadly Cold, if you have it maxed out, then uh, more power, obviously more power to you. Um, of the, uh, in terms of support, uh, because I'm as much as I'm gonna talk about the Blade Dancer deck, um, this is more so I can show how you should probably support, um, because a lot of people support very, very awkwardly. And I hope this, uh, this video helps. Um, as a support player, uh, Hunter's Jacket so that you can give the other person attack speed um, and then if you have the amulet of weakness uh, it'll give them additional squares so that they can have a better attack speed um, and in terms of <clears throat> the uh, uh, the sword uh, or your weapon um, I would recommend the mage uh, the staff um, so that you get more mana um, whenever you kill things, um, obviously your Reaper is going to kill things and give you mana, and that will give you more mana on top of your mana, um, which is why I say you probably don't need uh, Cauldron. Uh, the Reaper alone should give you enough. Um, so I'm going to jump into a game right now. Um, I'm going to run Blade Dancer here, um, and then I'm going to use my secondary account um, to use support. Um, okay. Staff to Clan Companion. Um, just want to make sure I'm using the, the right one. Here we go. Uh, okay. So this is more of a co-op video. Um, I want to show you how you should probably play co-op. Um, if you have like a dedicated per That's not great at all. <laughs> That okay. That's that's somewhat better. Um, I'm obviously wanna. I'm gonna do um, my the T setup because I have all three of those squares. Uh, that's insane. Um, inspiration is already happening. So if you do have um, Blade Dancer, make sure that you constantly use it whenever inspiration happens. Um, I should have an extra square. Some oh no, the extra square is uh, the center square, uh, so I'm not going to be able to put uh, my bombardier on a tile, uh, which is totally fine. Um, I like to keep them on the edges um, because any of those edge spots I don't need. Um, so if any of those get upgraded, um... oh, oh, here we go, square. I'm going to utilize this square, because why not? Always utilize squares. There we go. So I'm going to keep that uh, that bombardier right there. Um, it actually doesn't matter. Uh, I, I don't need to manually... Um, do a a scrapper uh, so I'm not too worried about it uh, which is why I'm playing kind of crazy here uh, so that's four um, I'm gonna eat this I'm gonna summon in you know what okay uh, so obviously first round is puppeteer uh, you're obviously not gonna want to upgrade any of the talents um, and actually, I couldn't, or upgrade uh, the mana, uh, the mana power, and I couldn't. Uh, so um, that actually helped out. Uh, so we're getting cursed here. Um, I can automatically just send that. 
Uh, your support player should not care. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is, uh, as a support player, uh, if you do have Shaman, you only need to Shaman when you have to Shaman. So right now, I'm stuck. Um, I don't have a level 2 Scrapper, um, and I need a level 2 Scrapper. So I'm going to copy all of these. Um, I'm going to send it one at a time. Uh, so now I have a level 2 Scrapper. Uh, I'm going to merge this one out uh, away. Um, I'm going to eat it uh, so that I can get more chances of potentially getting this last Blade Dancer. Um, and then I'm just going to continue business as normal. Um, I'm going to upgrade the Reaper over here. Um, and obviously if you had Clock, uh, right now you would be upgrading Clock. Um, because I know that I just hit uh, Scrapper, um, I'm going to merge the two Scrappers um, so that I don't accidentally level that up. And then I'm just going to sit here and singularly uh, just hit things. Um, as a uh, support player, you actually don't want to summon in right here. Um, because when you have curse tiles, if you just keep summoning in, um, you're just wasting mana. Um, and it makes it harder later uh, for you to come up with mana. So I'd rather sit here um, and just, just build up mana. Uh, this is going to be Warlock. I actually don't care if anything gets hit. I can save stuff um, like that. Because why not? But you don't want to overcommit because you don't have to. Um, that's actually okay. Um, it just upgraded my, uh, my Scrapper to a 3. Uh, which is totally fine. Uh, so this is crunch time. Um, obviously, somewhere in this round, uh, you're going to want a Shaman. Um, I usually wait until like round, uh, till like two waves. Um, you can try to wait till one wave, but that's kind of crazy. Um, but you want to you wanna upgrade both the, the Blade Dancer and the Knight Statue so that both of those are fully upgraded. Um, but you do see i can't even merge this right now um because i don't have a two uh so both my blade dancer and my uh night statues are fully upgraded you don't even need to i don't know if you've noticed um but i don't even really touch my bombardier until much later in the game because it doesn't matter the damage doesn't matter you're just wasting mana um and you need all of the mana that you can get uh so right here i'm stuck again um, so I'm going to send one, two, uh, I'm at actually, I can actually merge out all of these level ones because you don't need them. Uh, you just need mana, um, and you just need, um, you need to upgrade stuff. Um, always try to upgrade, uh, the level ones first. Um, because they can potentially become obviously level twos. Um, and if you are going to run mime, use your mimes on your shamans. Don't use shaman shaman to shaman unless you have to. Um, also, never use uh, merge the uh, the demonologists together um, because you want to save everything. So that's a two. Um, I can now merge those two. I still don't want to do that. Um, I can actually afford myself a little bit more time if I have this shaman back. Um, I'm just going to send all of this right now because, like I said, crunch time. Because you don't, uh, I was going to say, you don't want to get hit by that shaman, uh, by the uh, tribunal. And I just got hit by the tribunal, which is really unfortunate. Inspiration. 
Um, you obviously want to use all of your Harlequins on Shamans. Um, and when, when you can, you want to use your Mimes on your Shamans. Uh, so there's one. Um, right now I don't have any more. Um, I can actually use this too. Um, so I'm going to use the two first, uh, just so I can uh, summon it again. I can get rid of these two Demonologists. I can actually get rid of these two twos. Um, I'm going to wait on these two threes um, at, so that I can use this mime. Um, that got me another mime, um, which will get me these two. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these two twos. I'm going to get rid of those two. I'm going to use a mime on a shaman. This is how you can maximize um, all of your shamans. Because all the, the, the reason why you'd be running mimes um, is specifically as a way to get rid of to get rid of shamans. And you'll find, oh, I can actually uh, use these two twos. Um, I can merge these two twos right now. Um, I'll actually keep the three um, and then I'll eat the one. And now I'm free to start again. Uh, just keep summoning in. Uh, and I'm stuck again. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my other account. Uh, so that's two. That's a two. So I have two options here. Um, I can either call it a day, merge out these two ones uh, to become a two, eat the two, um, or I can attempt to continue and hope that one of those becomes a two, uh, one of the ones become a two. Um, I'm gonna do that um, because I have a lot of shamans here. Um, what's funny is that if it doesn't hit a sh if it doesn't hit a scrapper, that's actually what you want anyway. Um, and hitting scrappers just gives you more options. Um, if you're wondering why I keep merging out all of these uh, reapers, you only want high level reapers. I I usually like level three and above reapers, and if I have any ones or twos, I usually just merge them out early game. Um, Merge demonologist onto demonologist. Um, I can use this three on here. Um, use the mime. Merge out the ones. Uh, use the mime. Merge out the demonologist. Use the mime. Oh, okay. So, right here... Um, I can use this mime right here, but I won't have an additional, uh, level two. So if I, if I merge out these two ones and it becomes a two shaman, I'll only have one. So I'm going to use the three, I'm going to merge the, the, um, combine out the threes. Um, I'm going to combine out these fours. I'm going to combine out these two ones these two twos, these ones, these ones, um, these ones, I'm going to copy a two, um, now I'm going to use the mime, uh, which gives me another three, use the three, Merge the fours. There we go. And that's actually what I want. Because uh, now I can merge out these two twos. I can eat the three. <laughs> and I can keep going. Um, uh, so now I'm stuck again. Uh, so you keep going. I'm going to merge out these two ones. These two twos. Um, I'm going to copy first. Um, and then use the mime. Merge out these two. Uh, 
uh, these two ones. I'm going to copy and then use a mime. Um, I'm going to copy the three and use the three first. Um, because if I get a Harley Quinn, I want to Harley Quinn uh, the, the uh, Shaman first. Um, that didn't work out. I'm going to try to get rid of other stuff. Uh, so I'm actually going to use this 5 on this 5. Uh, that actually works out. Yeah, so I'm going to use that on the 1. I'm going to use that on the 1. I'm going to use that on the 1. I'm going to use a 2. Copy a three, copy a shaman, um, I'm going to uh, combine the two twos because I, I've, like I said, um, I, I like three or, uh, three or above on, on reapers. Um, I'm actually going to say, oh, actually, you know what, I can use, I'm going to save this four um, and I'm going to summon in. Uh, so here's two shamans, um, I'm going to use a shaman. I'm going to use a 2. Uh, combine out the 1s. Uh, copy a shaman. Combine out the 1s. This is how you util you um, utilize all of your, your shamans effectively. Um, it doesn't seem like a difficult deck. Um, like you just, oh, you just have shamans and you copy shamans and you send shamans. But there's a smart way to do it and there's a dumb way to do it. Um, so right now, on my other account, I have 44,000 mana. I am not hurting for mana at all. Um, if you, you do this at like a very slow rate. Um, you don't want to just shaman everything just because. Um, there's a methodical way to do this. Um, so I'm going to use the three. On, I'm the use, gonna use a three mime on a four. Um, I was hoping for a shaman there. Uh, I mean, for a, a Harley Quinn there, so I could copy the um, the the one four, um, so that I could use it. Um, but this is fine as well. Um, I'm gonna merge out two ones. Uh, summon in. I'm gonna merge out the two twos. Summon in. Um, so I have four uh, twos, so I can use one of them. Uh, that gives me a three. Um, use the one. Merge out the twos. That's fine. Uh, that's actually that actually works for me because now I can uh, shaman. I can uh, Harlequin the shaman. Use the one. I have a one, two, three, four, five scrapper over there, which is kind of funny. Pretty sure I'm done with all my squares. Um, I'm gonna upgrade my bombardier. That's about how much I care about that bombardier. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna merge out these two twos. Merge out these twos. I'm gonna summon it again. Um, I was trying to look for a Har Harlequin so that I can um, Harlequin the, my, the, the level one. Um, I'm actually going to... I'm going to use a four. No, I'm going to use the two threes. Um, I'm going to merge out these two fours. It's going to give me more space so that I can get uh, level ones. Um, I'm going to merge out these two. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, so right now I have two threes that I can combine. I have two fours that I can combine. Um, and technically right here, uh, this is a pro move. Since I got a portal keeper um, and we just uh, got through with uh, King Pudding, um, I can either leave this here um, and hopefully maybe upgrade it to a six uh, so I can uh, take these off of, off of poop. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave them. Um, because if that becomes a six and I can get rid of, um, the pudding, uh, then that would be pretty good. And if it, and if not, I, I suppose I could eat it. 
I, I don't, I honestly don't care either way. Um, I'm going to eat this three and hope that it becomes either a shaman or a harlequin. Um, it did not. I'm going to eat these twos, three. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> it did not. Um, I'm actually going to get rid of that so that I can get a five so that I can, because I had that five there. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to copy all of these. I'm going to use a mime. Use these two ones. Uh, pro move here. Uh, you can actually trainer um, your bedlam so that you get bedlamed again, which I think is really funny. I think I saw one person do it and I thought that was really funny. Um, you can, yeah, so that you get a better, you get a better board. Um, I'm going to use these shamans. If you haven't guessed, my uh, my boy Dancer deck is just sitting there, because uh, that's what it does. It just kind of sets up, and um, a lot of this is all put on to the co-op partner, um, which is why I thought that I would showcase this as well. Oh, um, yeah, so those need to be sevens. Uh, the uh, the portal keeper needs to be a seven in order for me to get rid of uh, the pudding here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to a 7 before this this game ends. Um, here we go. So I'm going to use these two. I'm going to use this one. Oh, I did it! Look at that! Look at that! And that's why you leave the portal keeper there. Sometimes it just kind of works out. Um, I can technically use the the remaining of my 123,000 mana to upgrade uh, my Portal Keeper and my Scrapper. Um, it's some amount of damage. I don't know if it's important amount of damage, but it is some amount of damage, and some amount of damage is better than no damage. Uh, so I'm going to use these. The other reason why you want to only uh, merge demonologists onto demonologists um, is because right now I my other account is not going to use it at all. So you would just be wasting uh, Harley Quinns or Mimes on them, and you just want you 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 right now you just want them to go away because you need the space. Um, having said that. Um, I'm kind of stuck here, so I just need to get rid of something. Um, I'm also going to get rid of that. Oh, here we go. I'm going to use that, use that. There we go. So I can use that, use that, use that, use that, use that. That and that's pretty much it. As a support player, that's that's pretty much the game. I don't know at what point like all my units were sevens, um, but that is how I feel like you should probably play support. Um, if you have the cards, uh, it's not terribly difficult. Um, if you have the shaman, um, you don't need the clock. The clock, um, it might even be overkill, um, cause as you, as you just saw, like I didn't even need the clock. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell what the blade answer deck is, um, what you should probably do in co-op. Um, I wanted this to be a PSA on, you know, like tips and tricks on how to use the blade answer deck. Um, what I think, I think Bombardier is a lot better than Chemist. Um, especially for if you're doing dungeons, uh, any any dungeons really, um, because you need to it, dungeons is a mode where you need to kill bosses, um, and because you need to kill bosses, 
Um, I think it's better to use the Bombardier to stun them because that would just completely screw you over if you get Warlocked or if you get Assassined or or like the worst of the worst if you get Bedlamed. Um, I hope this helps. Um, I hope this helps somebody. Um, and I hope that if you do play co-op, um, obviously you're not going to play against somebody who is, you know, like going to specifically use their Scrapper the way I would. Um, but that's just, I don't know, something if you're running this deck, that's what you should strive for. Like, try to always use, try to always be scrappering. Um, try to always smart scrapper. Like, just keep using thing. Like, if your opponent is playing Shaman, <clears throat> and, you know, obviously that my opponent was playing Shaman, um, and he was trying to, like, Shaman me at the beginning of the game. Um, but even then, I try, I try to put myself... <coughs> Sorry, I try to put myself in a position where I need to be uh, shamaned. Um, and you have to know when to stop. You just have to know, um, as a Blade Dancer player, you just have to know when to stop summoning in uh, to just let the, uh, the shaman player do their stuff. Um, but I hope that helps. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Um, uh, so I will see you guys maybe in another video. I don't know. <laughs>